some signs were almost certainly markers showing clan, tribe or ethnic membership. But it's likely that the cave paintings serve as both symbols of belonging to a particular people and complex images linked to a form of religion. There may even have been a fixed route planned for the visitors to the Lascaux cave, a ritual preserved in all ancient and modern religions. This would go some way to explaining the different nature of the decoration in the galleries and corridors. Some areas would be open to everyone, like the rotunda and the painted gallery. This is where the members of the community would meet familiarized with the animal imagery that they would decipher wall by wall, guided by a narrator, an elder or shaman. Other areas would be more secret and esoteric, like the main gallery and the chamber of engravings. Here, the thousands of carved lines would need to be deciphered or even completed. The chamber of the felines may have been an area for some kind of initiation ceremony. It could only be reached by crawling, either alone or in a small group, in order to decipher or carve signs. And finally, the shaft. When the cave was discovered, the floor of the shaft was covered with lamps, among which was the pink sandstone lamp. There were also spearheads and flint blades. This may have been a kind of crypt, a secret space reserved for votive objects. Resonance would also have had a large role to play. A little imagination will tell us that ceremonies and visits were probably accompanied by music, singing, dancing and declamation. Thank mm -hmm. you.